Imagine this, you're out in the wilderness, fishing rod in hand when suddenly you catch something quite unexpected. A frog. Yes, you heard it right, a frog. Not the slippery, slimy catch you were expecting, huh? Now most people might be taken aback, maybe even a little annoyed. After all, who goes fishing for frogs, but this is no ordinary frog. This little green guy isn't just hopping around, he's got something to say. Picture this, you're holding this unexpected catch, bewilderment painted across your face, when suddenly the frog opens its mouth. And no, it doesn't croak, instead it starts chatting away. But it's not just any small talk, this amphibian claims to be a magician, a magician of all things, promises to grant any wish if you just let him go, and as if this day couldn't get any weirder, the frog starts talking, claiming to be a magician who can grant any wish if set free. Now any sensible person might be skeptical, but our man decides to go along with it, thinking about what he could possibly wish for. Can you imagine the possibilities? A mountain of gold, an infinity pool of chocolate, or perhaps a lifetime supply of pizza? But no. Our man, being the gentle soul that he is, doesn't go down the usual path of worldly desires. Instead, he ponders over the state of the world, the endless conflicts, the constant bickering, and in a moment of unexpected nobility, he decides on a wish that's not for him, but for the world. His heart swells with empathy, his mind buzzing with the idea, he looks at the frog and says, I want eternal peace in the Middle East. It's a wish that's as noble as they come, but as the frog quickly points out, it's also a rather complicated one. So he finally settles on his wish. Eternal peace in the Middle East. A noble wish but as the frog quickly points out a rather complicated one. Finding his first wish too daunting the man decides to go with something a little closer to home. He asks the frog to make his wife a very beautiful person. It's a wish that sounds simple enough right? But the frog being a wise and seasoned magician knows better than to jump to conclusions. So it requests a picture of the man's wife. A sort of before snapshot if you will. The man eager to fulfill his wish quickly rummages through his wallet and hands over his wife's passport photo. The frog takes the photo, examining it with the intensity of a seasoned art critic. The silence grows. The man waits with bated breath. Suddenly the frog sighs, a sound that echoes with resignation and a hint of despair. Should we just take out the map of the Middle East? 